Now at 11 and streaming on CBSN Bay Area, breaking news, a key piece of evidence destroyed in a highly scrutinized police shooting in Vallejo. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz in tonight for Elizabeth. Let's get you right to KPX 5's Joe Vasquez with what we've just learned. Joe? Veronica, a police department employee of the Vallejo Police Department has been placed on administrative leave after the front windshield of an undercover police vehicle was found to be destroyed. After a Vallejo police officer fired through the front windshield of a moving pickup last month, crime scene detectives secured the scene, as is common in an officer-involved shooting. But tonight we've learned a key piece of evidence is now missing. According to a statement from the Vallejo City Manager's Office, quote, the city has discovered that the windshield has been destroyed and the vehicle has since been placed back into service without prior consultation with the police chief or city attorney's office. I mean, it was egregious. It was outrageous behavior. To me, it was really um, a great example of why the police shouldn't be policing themselves. Attorney Melissa Nord represents the family of 21-year-old Sean Monterosa, who was killed that night. His family says he had his hands up and was surrendering when he was shot, but police insist they thought they saw a weapon in his hand. Hey, he pointed a gun at us. Don't move. Do not move. Do not move. It turned out to be a hammer. Tonight, Vallejo officials say a city employee has been suspended because of the windshield, and the city is now asking the state attorney general and the Solano County District Attorney to investigate the destruction of evidence. And it's an appropriate start as a response to this. I mean, they took the first opportunity to destroy evidence that was necessary from our standpoint to be able to do scene recreation, to be able to have a professional um, expert come and evaluate uh, the veracity of the officer's statements. Now we have no ability to do that ever. At this point, it's not clear what happened to the windshield. It appears that vehicle was repaired and then rushed back into service. Reporting live, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.